looking like the aircraft equivalent of Joseph Merrick, aka the Elephant Man, the Schultz SB-3 was a prototype carrier-based anti-submarine aircraft that was the final attempt to get an order for the Schultz Sturgeon. I'll admit I should probably have done a full video on the Sturgeon and just tacked on a footnote on the end about the SB-3, but it's just too unique not to have its own entry, even if it is only a small one. Plus, if you've seen my video on the Schultz Seamew, you might be thinking like me that Schultz had a real talent for building really odd anti-submarine aircraft. Anyway, the Schultz SB-3. It's probably not a surprise to learn that such an unusual looking aircraft was a product of trying to adapt a design over several years of changing specifications. In 1943, and as the tide of World War II began to turn, the Royal Navy put out a requirement for a new carrier torpedo bomber, which Schultz wasn't invited to tender for, but they did anyway. Later that year, a new specification was issued for a twin-engined naval reconnaissance aircraft, which had a secondary attack capability. Again, Schultz entered their design, the Sturgeon, and this time they actually won. The aircraft proposed was a pretty nice-looking bird, powered by two Merlin engines and capable of carrying ASV radar, cameras, or a thousand-pound bomb load. Thirty were ordered, but then the Second World War ended, and the Navy no longer wanted the Sturgeon. But production was underway, and so they had to figure out what to do with them. Here, things began to get ugly, so to speak. Most of the Sturgeons were converted into TT2 and 3 target tugs, and these served for a few years. But hey, they may not have been great looking, but they did the job. But Schultz still had hopes for the Sturgeon, and figured that it might make a carrier anti-sub hunter. So they took two of the original aircraft in 1949 and created the SB-3. The aircraft had a deep nose and chin, I guess you'd call it, fitted, which contained both the surface search radar and a cabin for two operators. This gave the aircraft its distinctive look. But the reasoning for building the aircraft had a lot of sound basis. The Sturgeon was a proven airframe, capable of operating on at least some of the serving carriers, and was ready for production. Sure, it wasn't pretty, but if it could do the job, so what? And that's where the problem lay. Because the SB-3 had the original Merlin piston engines replaced by Mamba turboprops. These, combined with the substantial changes to the aircraft layout, changed the handling characteristics of the SB-3. The aircraft is reported to have been difficult to trim for long flights, which is an important consideration for a patrol plane, and the one flying example made a single demonstration at Farnborough in 1950. There it looks drew some comments, and the test reports on the aircraft's issues killed the SB-3. In 1951, both prototypes were scrapped, and the Royal Navy proceeded with other designs. <laughs> 